Hello loves, in today's video, I am gonna show you how to resize your images for Amazon using Photoshop Elements. If this is your first time joining me, hello, my name is Christina Nicole, and I am a maker and a product photographer teaching makers like me and you how to take their own quality product photos that attract more customers and make more sales for their product-based business. If you find this video useful, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me more than you know. And if you want to learn more about taking your own quality product photos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get notified every time I release a new video with awesome product photography tips. So when it comes to resizing your images for Amazon, what you need to understand is that resizing is a three-step process. Step one is actually cropping to the proper aspect ratio. Step two is gonna be resizing the pixel dimensions. And step three is making sure that your file size is small enough so that it loads nice and quick when you go to upload it to the internet. So for step one, we're gonna head over here to the crop tool and click on that. And then down here, we are going to choose five by five because Amazon's recommendation is a square. That is how their images are displayed in search. So when we click on that, basically what that means is that our width to height is going to be an equal proportion. So for every five units in width, we're gonna have five units in height. So it's a square. What we're going to do is go ahead and create that crop. We're going to frame the image like we want to. I just want my props, props peeking into the image frame, and we're going to hit the check mark. So that there is step one. We have resized the image, cropped it, and adjusted the aspect ratio for Amazon, which is a square. Next, we're going to come up here to file, and we're going to go to save for web. Okay, now inside of save for web, we're going to do steps two and steps three. And while all three of these steps correlate, there is something that has to be done for each of them. And I'll explain that here in a minute when I talk about them correlating. Okay, so step two is adjusting the pixel dimension. So it's actually resizing the amount of pixels that are in the image. So right now, this image has pixels of 2,800 by 2,800. And the reason that they're so small is because we cropped out a significant amount. So when I went to go crop to a square, I removed quite a bit of the image. So that actually removed pixels. What I want you to think about when it comes to pixel dimensions is think about your shape. So your square, and it has millions of teeny tiny boxes inside of that square. So many that we can't visibly see them. Well, those tiny little boxes, they contain data and information, which leads to a large file size. So in removing some of those pixels through cropping and now resizing, we are going to decrease that file size, which is step three. So we can actually sit with the 2800 by 2800. That's actually a pretty good pixel dimension size for online use. My recommendation is to set those pixel dimensions to a, either to a range of 2,500 to 3,000. Now, Amazon states that you have to have at least 1,000, but my professional recommendation is at least 2,500, no more than 3,000. So I'm actually going to adjust this, and I want you to look over here as well. This is our current file size. I'm going to adjust the pixel dimensions to 2,500. Okay, and when I hit enter. And as you noticed, the height automatically changed as well. And that's because we already set that proportion, right? In cropping, we set that five, five equal square proportion. So it automatically changed for us. Watch this file size decrease when I remove some of the pixels. I'm going to hit enter. And our file size decreased. Well, 2.756 is still way too big for the internet. So what happens when we have a really large file size, it takes a long time to load, and this can affect our SEO and all of that when we're online. So my professional recommendation is to have it between 500 kilobytes and one megabyte. So we need to reduce this file size, which is going to be step three of resizing your image. So what you're going to do is come up here and you want to make sure this is set to a JPEG. And right now we have maximum quality, 100%. So I'm going to go down to very high. 
That changes to a quality of 80, but we're still over one megabyte. So I'm gonna change this to a high. That's now a 60%. And that pushes us down to 748 kilobytes, which is perfect for online. Remember my recommendation is 500 to under one megabyte. So no less than 500, no more than one megabyte. And then we're gonna hit save. And you're gonna rename it. And save it where you want. And that's how you resize your images for Amazon. So to recap here quick, step one was adjusting that aspect ratio. So cropping to a square. Step two was resizing the pixel dimensions. This is all the teeny tiny little boxes inside of your square that contain the data and the information. So we want to remove those so that our image is a smaller in size and that reduces the file size as well. So we adjusted our pixel dimensions to about 2,500. For Amazon, I recommend no less than 2,500, no more than 3,000. And while that reduced our file size, it didn't reduce our file size enough. So we had to go in and do a quality reduction to get our file size under one megabyte. I recommend your file size be no smaller than 500 kilobytes and no larger than one megabyte. If you found this video useful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to get notified next time I upload another product photography tip.